What's up guys? We finally got the clan Wars or Sieges, whatever it's called. I don't know why they are calling it Sieges and not Clan Wars to be honest. I think that would that would make more that's more understandable. That's the first thing that comes into your mind. Maybe they could have called it I don't know, clan sieges, but you know, calling it a siege is you know a little bit confusing, but anyway, so I'm super excited about it. I don't think everybody else is, though. Let me pull it up. I have kind of seen, you know, very mixed response, or let's say a little bit um, negative response, actually. L let's let's queue up first. But I did a poll about it yesterday before I went to sleep. Wait. Ah, it's too many fights. Okay, I'm not going to do that many fights to get into Blath. Okay, so there you go. I did a poll about it, um, like, 11 hours ago. 70% is not excited about the content and don't think that it's gonna be great. That's a lot less than 50%, so... So far, it's not, you know, it's not looking too good. This was gonna be one of the major releases for the raid, like, one big content part of the game. I hope people get surprised and it's better than they think, but we'll see about it. We're certainly putting a really strong team together for, for clan wars in our clan and trying to do it, but we'll see how it actually, how we think about it in practice. Oh fuck. We're starting with a very high rated opponent in the first battle and he whipped out both Siegfund and Lazarus. God damn. I hope he lets me have the Rotos too. But yeah, you know... I'm not sure about yet how interesting or fun content it actually actually is. I think a big part is the rewards, and I literally made a video about it with Biohack. I think most people are not super excited about... Okay, he has a very strong team. Most people are not super... I think I'm gonna go with Rotos without UDK, yeah. Most people are not super excited about the rewards, and um, well, I think the endgame players are of course gonna go for them because they're gonna be used, but I don't think they are as shiny and it's not like stone skin accessories or reaction when it was new that makes people super excited about it and it's the best thing ever. Yeah, we're gonna go for UDK ban, right? we really have to I mean he's not gonna ban my actually let's go for a warlord ban but he's he's gonna oh he didn't ban Narsus okay I mean Armands interesting but if he didn't I mean my Armands should go I mean he's definitely gonna go first and just um polymorph the UDK hopefully I still have boots and chest that I need to chaos dust for Armands so he doesn't have the best possible build that I could do on him though, but hopefully this guy doesn't have very high resistance of the UDK. If he doesn't, I think we're good. I mean, you know, Gizmark is iron sheet, kind of depends, but hopefully he gets polymorph. That's why that's why I picked so many yeah, so many champions with polymorph. Okay, let's see if we can Oh he has both of the nukers in um we still have to go for UDK of course. Okay, he resisted. That's not great. Obviously, it's a high resistance UDK then. Not sure if we can survive long enough. Then he doesn't have like I don't have any ally attack or anything like that. Only revivers he has is these nukers, but you know, both Siegfried and Glasarius are technically revivers. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't know about this. If my Duchess can get one more turn, maybe we can make a comeback, but. I'm not 100% sure if she can. I don't think she's gonna survive it. 
unless they get lucky and don't really proc anything. <laughs> like, uh, not Helm Smasher, I mean. Surely Lazarus is gonna kill it. Oh, it didn't even go for... That's a weird choice. Well, I guess, I guess, you know, I have double reviver, so... <laughs> either one is gonna, you know... Revive the other. Maybe that maybe that was the right right choice. As you probably know, usually I ban I mean I always ban like Harim or UDK, but almost always. I very often let them have lockout. I mean usually they have multiple lockouts, kind of like this team as well actually. But often they even have like um multiple stronger lockouts than just Lazarus and generally I just I let them have it and I'll ban like uh, UDK or Harima or something else maybe Armands Armands if they get it but um, yeah didn't happen this time I got my Armands <laughs> wait I think Gizmag is gonna kill it I think if we just got that one revive off now, we would be good, but Gizmark is gonna kill it, surely. Yeah, okay, game over. Oh, oh, he got extra turn. Ah, oh, it's screwed. Yeah. If I... If the UDK didn't resist my armaments, or if I survived one third more there on Ankara, we would have won it, but obviously it was a very, <laughs> very strong team, of course. I mean, I still haven't pulled any... Mudic champions. Let me show you my. I mean, it's my Armands is not really built on like high accuracy. Or I mean, depends what you mean. But 677 is definitely not enough to debuff champions that are actually built on resistance. I could get a good amount of more accuracy though. I could um, rework this chest and get accuracy. I've tried it on it multiple times and failed. And there's also boots I have with triple accuracy that I'm not using. I'll try to get those at some point, but I don't think even if I had them it would have... Um, it probably wouldn't have been enough against that UDK if it was built on high accuracy. I, I might as well do this. I think I got this piece like uh, literally just uh, on the last on the last TVC and I think I got the max accuracy roll on like the first clip, but I was using a 5-star amulet before this. N not, not a big deal though, it's not like a little bit more tankiness makes any difference on Armands. Um, yeah, I, I don't, we can't really you know, show anything about the siege yet. There's a massive amount of preparation time. I think it only happens every two weeks and it lasts for like two days. I think the biggest criticism that I see from like, you know, in official Discord and Reddit is that the content is gonna take too much time. I don't think that's the issue. I think the issue is probably gonna be that it's not, might be not fun enough and it doesn't have good enough rewards. I don't think it's gonna be super time consuming actually. I think Tag Team Arena is <laughs> much more time consuming than Sieges. Except maybe for like, you know, clan leaders and officers that have to strategize for it. And to be fair, I think if 70% of my audience is not super excited about new content, I think it's gonna be it's gonna be less on average player, you know, so I think that's the best number that they can even get, like 30% people like it. Uh, yeah, let's go with Rotos and Ankara. He, he already big triple support and with Grixia, so... We are... I mean, this is exactly what I thought in the last battle, that they big multiple lockout champions and we can't ban all of them. He basically has three, I mean... Armand is like a lockout champion here. And we have to ban it, so he'll have two left. Duchess or Yudik? I think we're still gonna go with Duchess, maybe... Maybe we can polymorph the Harima.
but m maybe Rotos can can get the weak or Grixia gets a weak hit against Rotos. That's the win condition here, but we're obviously against Arima passive and a lot of damage from a charge. So even if I do resist, it's necessarily not the win. Yeah, we're not getting easy opponents today. Okay, I think Rodos got locked out. He can still get extra turns, you know, so it's not like he can get things done, but it's looking kind of bad. I mean, he's gonna get the block active skill step up from God. Oh, what the fuck? The charge is super slow. I, I hope we don't block reaction here. Nice, nice. Okay, I didn't see that coming. Yeah, usually... Okay, now it's going kind of good. Usually the charges are like in 4 piece stone skin. To be honest, all of Nougars are in 4 piece stone skin generally, if you can do it. But especially charge, it's, it's definitely worth losing some damage or like even a lot of damage to like accomplish that. Okay, that was kind of good start. I mean, George it can still easily destroy us if he gets gets a turn, and he, if he has a strong build, maybe this George is like in more merciless and has insane damage. That might be possible. Let's see how much damage he does. Okay, that that was pretty high. Nice, he... Okay, good. We didn't get destroyed by the A1. Ah, uh, I think... Oh, nice. I thought... I was gonna say that I think Harima is gonna get the turn before us, but we're less than 50%. But it actually wasn't the case. I mean, now he's gonna die, but... I still have... Uh, Narsus. Eh, eh, I think we're still gonna lose, to be honest. It was kind of looking good, but you know, we're getting taunted and we're gonna get locked out. I really needed to get get the polymorph proc there, and so that Narsus didn't get locked out. That would have been my chance to win. Oh, he got the refresh proc on the charge it nook. That's not good. Um. Oh. 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 Nice. Nice. Wait. Wait. Do, don't I have the Narsus nook now? Surely. Okay, this is a very hectic fight. I think we actually won it. Yeah. I wish the charge it wasn't under whale so I could block revive it, but can't do that. But I think that's enough. He just used the revive. Oh, he got... I think he's running impulse set. It, it might have been mastery or the impulse set. He just got the cooldown reduced on the Galatir, but he still doesn't have the revive, so I, I think we're good. Damn, he's slapping us very hard. Is he gonna pull out the revive? Like, I think next turn he's already gonna have it, I guess. Oh, fuck. Wait, wait, that's that's not bad. That just means that we can do the... Um, A2 on Narsus again, assuming that it gets a turn before the Harima, which it might not. No, okay, okay we got the turn, okay. Did we get it? Oh, still, still the um, Galadir lives on. Galadir has insane base stats, and not only that. Oh, and again, no, we didn't get taunted. Galadir has insane base stats, and then he also has, in both forms, a passive that mitigates damage, or in the other form, it just you know you can get killed. He's insanely tanky, and that's not even like the main thing that he does. But okay, nice. Somehow we we were able to win against this guy. I don't even know how that happened because you know we we could have got a better RNG against him. We we did get the polymorph on the Harima at the end, so that was great. But we didn't even get it at the start. This could have gone even better. But the first two fights today, super hard. I hope we get some 
easy fights in between. I I heard that like um slash saw that Ash made a video about the uh, clan wars. So I need to watch that too. Like I I, I kind of want to see what what is his take on it coming from another perspective. Okay, me. Mikake and plus four Lazarus, you know. I guess we're not gonna get any of those easy opponents. I already forgot what's that one champion's name. There's one like, um. Fuck. I, I literally have never seen anybody use it. I don't think it's that bad, but there's this one Force Affinity Reviver that was released maybe like a month ago or something like that. It's basically like a mini Duchess. It might be kind of okay to have a Force Affinity Re Reviver against Lazarus and maybe like, you know, Siegfund, but don't have him and off the bat I can't, I can't even remember what its name. Okay, so he went with both Staldus and our base. I don't think we really want to be Krotos here, so we're probably gonna go with um, Staldus. Staldus and Ankara? Or. Necret? Ne Necret is kind of good against our base, but you know, obviously not against Lazarus. Hmm. -mm. Okay, let's just go with this. And I mean, against Harima, no, no, not our base. It works against those old school Nukras, but Lazarus does too much damage and ignores the shield, so doesn't really work against it. Now, who do we want to ban here? Pretty sure he has like everybody in stone skin. And he's gonna... Maybe I'll go for the Mikake ban. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Gizmog is still gonna be fastest champion. So he's still gonna go first. I'm almost certain about it. But... Um, there's a chance that he might get polymorphed as well. Oh, okay. Our base is a lot, a lot faster than Gizmog. Oh. Okay, not not the best, but then on the other hand, if we can survive with reaction, uh, he doesn't have any stone skin. Yeah, if Narcissus can survive here now, I mean, we already won. Come on. He has triple reaction. Surely we're gonna proc it. Okay. I don't know, she might be able to reduce our turn. Okay, no. Turn meter with the A1 if our base had evil. Ah, uh, what? How is Lazarus taking two turns? My, my Narsus is like 251 speed. Even with, you know, even with speed buff and turn meter boost, I feel like I sh still should have got in. But okay, come on, just get one turn. Okay, one turn. What do I want to do? Block revive or just go for nooks? I think we're... I think we're gonna go for the block revive. But we have the Angora in the team anyway, so... I think we won it. Damn. <laughs> win, for, win for the Staldos. I think I think I had Staldos on the last live arena thumbnail. I, I don't think I can do it <laughs> twice in a row, but yeah. Staldos, I've spoken... Oh, wait. Let's see. Let's give it a second. I mean, is the, is the geese mark gonna solo us? I mean, this wouldn't... I don't think Gizmark has done it before, but you know, I've been soloed many times before and I'm kind of low HP, so let's see first. Okay, we survived it kind of barely. Wait, wait. Are we really gonna lose to Gizmark? No. No, he doesn't have any AoE. Wait, no, he has AoE. Oh my god. He has AoE A1 on that form. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought we won. We, we were like so, you know, we demolished him, but 
Oh my god, it's a plus four geese mark. Okay, you know. It is what it is. P pay to win, you know. I always call these these people free to play players, but he was he was too free to play enough for me. Even, even the geese mark A1 was was able to destroy me. Now that I look about it, every one of his nukers is plus four. God damn it. I thought we had it in the in the back with Staldus, but not not enough. It would have been super close. I feel, feel like, you know, if I just had, you know, the four star blessing or Narcissus, we already would have killed the geese mark before. Or if I was just a little bit tankier on somebody. It, it was so close. I'm sure there's many ways that we would have been able to win it. But happens. I mean, kind of sucks. Yeah, the, the AOE on the A1 is, you know, kind of sneakily powerful on a champion like him. I mean, I, I said it before, like, I've always thought that Gizmark was super good and, like, underrated, but I still feel like Gizmark is super underrated. He's, to he's totally on the same level as Sieg Siegrund and uh, Lazarus for Live Arena. He's, you know, more prone for Polymorph, of course, but if you have Blessing on him, it's very crucial to have the blessing because the blessing is so powerful and reduces turn meter. But if you have the blessing on him, I feel like he's, you know, if he doesn't get polymorphed, I think he's a lot better than like, like Siegfund or Lazarus. But he can get polymorphed, so that kind of makes him very risky and RNG to use. But I feel like when he does work, he's, he's actually a lot better. A lot better than them, but wouldn't wouldn't mind getting Gizmak. I would be super happy about that. Even though he's a nuker, he's also kind of support, and I definitely could use more nukers. I would have item set for a second and HP scaling nuker, so would be pretty nice. But okay, we almost had it though. Even though I'm getting super sad about it now, it was. Very close. I guess that was built more on the, on the damage side. Usually those geese marks are super fast. That one wasn't fast, but it, it did very high damage. Okay. Yes, the UDK, we can't really ban it. Should we go with Mikage? Okay. Yeah, so, some form of uh, buff strip would be nice. Maybe we can, can remove the storm skin, but you know, he might have resist and it's 50% chance. But we're also gonna get the turn against lockout, so Mikage was definitely the best choice there. Oh, he banned Mikage. <laughs> no wonder. I mean, now we now we have at least, you know, double reviver. We might be able to resist on Ankara, like the Krixia lockout. Or, of course, we could just polymorph it, but we might also resist it. And then we could revive Duchess or anybody with turn meter and their cooldowns intact. So there's many conditions that we could win here, even with the UDK on his team. And, of course, Rotos is not the only nuker in the team so there's that too okay everybody got locked out kind of unlucky that, that happened against the Trixia last time as well okay let's let's see the Taras the red wolves our attack people don't really do it anymore but in the Taras meta where 100% defense teams had him and people were mostly just using double Taras offense as well, which is still kind of viable, but um, during that meta everybody made sure to build their support champions with as little attack as possible, and they kind of sacrificed actually often a lot of stats in order to do it. I never really went for that myself because I was, you know, kind of 
counting on the fact that my UDK does 1A2 and then reduces their attack from the Taras passive and that would be good enough. I always kind of went for my max uh, max tankiness anyway. And I still I'm still running the same old stuff, so I I need to get some hits on the Taras so that um the, the A2 doesn't do like 150k damage. I mean it's still gonna hit insanely hard, but uh not as hard as it could. Yeah, okay. Grixia, Grixia uh, um, both locking me out and re resetting his cooldowns does feel kind of uh, frustrating. I think we lost it here. Right? Wait, ah. Uh, <laughs> he put the Rotos A2 on cooldown. We, we were saving it, but that went, went to cooldown already. Yeah, was that the third Taras nuke that he did on that battle? <laughs> you know, they can rotate it pretty hard. Okay, no, no easy opponents today. Everybody has like trillion, trillion times better account that that we're meeting today. I mean, it's my fault for being this high points, but you know, I would want to be higher, <laughs> higher if I could, but you know. Not going super well lately. I kind of have, you know, very mixed sessions to be fair, because sometimes it's not these mega accounts queuing, and then I win a lot. And you know, but today it's not it's not that way. I think there's even though people say that Live Arena is kind of dead, and it definitely isn't isn't as popular as it could be, but I do think there's actually very big pool of players playing because it's not like I meet the same players every time. There's definitely people that I have battled many many times like um what's his name? There's that one streamer um what's his name that I fought super many times and there's many other people that I battled many times but um I meet a lot of new people. I mean I guess I wouldn't really recognized his Russian Russian name super well, so it's possible that I fought many times with him too, but it feels like the people that I fought today I haven't like battled many times. Uh, oh yeah, Gestal Gaming, that's that's the guy I meant. He's like a older gentleman that's always Streaming on Twitch. I don't think he makes YouTube videos, but I'm not hundred percent sure. Maybe maybe I can check. But him, I battle a bit pretty often, which is surprising because I I think he's American. But um, I guess always when I'm queuing morning or evening, our like you know paths cross, and I I'm sure he's like you know very active playing in live arena. But there's couple me couple people that I. I remember be meeting like a bunch of times, which is kind of interesting, but it's not like I only meet the same players every time. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with this. Even though he has touches, but I think we're gonna go uh, with Staltus. We, we at least have the Armands, so it's kind of Unlikely that he's gonna ban our Narcissus, so we should have two nukers. Oh, he does have a YouTube channel? Okay, and I'm subscribed to it. Okay, my bad. He does have a YouTube channel, but obviously... Yeah, I don't Yeah, I don't think he's very active. Like, he's mostly active on Twitch. He doesn't even have his um, Twitch link there. Uh, who do we ban? I could actually go for the Krixia ban. That wasn't my original um, intention, but I think I think we're gonna do it. And he's yeah, he's gonna ban it. Yeah, this is not too bad. If my Mikaki goes first, maybe somebody is not in Stone Skin. <laughs> for sure, Duchess is in Stone Skin, but maybe it's a Borster Duchess. Who knows? Maybe I would actually be able to stun her. 
Okay. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, here is his uh, uh, Twitch channel, Gestal Gaming. <laughs> Gestal Gaming. <laughs> I always have like good close fights with him. So. Fuck. Okay, I was too slow. I was kind of. <laughs> I should have just switched form. I was thinking if I should ally attack the. Star, uh, Taras or not, and then I was too slow, but I should have just changed the form and went for a boss chip. <laughs> now Taras is gonna hit hard and yeah, we will we'll lose. That was kind of my bad. <laughs> I was getting too dis- wait, wait, we can still kill them. M maybe it's not completely over yet. Wait, he did actually have bo bolster dances. No? Somebody's in Bolster. Was that the... F I'm a little bit confused. What Was that the 4 beast stone skin Duchess or what? who was in Bolster? It, I guess it had to... Yeah, it had to have been a 4 beast stone skin, 4 beast, 4 beast Bolster and it wasn't... Su yeah, it wasn't super fast, so it went after that. After the Nukers. I think that's what happened. I was getting a little bit distracted by chilling for guest of gaming, you know, so... Almost feels like it was like a blessing in disguise since we did survive it and then we got the stun on both of the nukers on the second turn. I feel like it probably still would have been better to just actually do a turn on the first turn, but it wasn't... Okay, I, th I think we still lost, but it, it could have been worse. It could have been worse, but I think we still lost. The nukers are gonna kill Narcissus before he gets to do his A2 again. And yeah, we can't do anything right now. We... We can't even sleep the Taras because of the UDK passive, and yeah, okay, we, we lost it, we lost it. I mean, to be fair, it's a very strong team. Well, no, wait, he's full turn meter, I'm not sure if I can cut in here, but if I can, which I don't think I can, but if I can, oh my god. I think we, <laughs> I mean, we definitely won it here, I'm gonna kill everybody except the Taras for sure, so we did win this one. Okay, there's, there's no way I can lose at this point, okay. You know, that's kind of my bad. I'm known for making mistakes when I'm distracted, but almost felt like that mistake was <laughs> was maybe better than actually doing doing the turn on Mikake. Tell me what you think about that in comments. Maybe 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 that was a big brain mistake. Okay. Mo moving on from that battle. I don't think we're quite at the 50-50 <laughs> mark yet with those two wins, but we're Oh, it's both against the same guy, but we're getting there. But, you know, these teams are super scary. We're not getting easy battles today. Like, mo most of the champions that we have met so far, it's like more than 50% mythical. <laughs> Th that's the level of opponents we're getting. Pre pre pretty sure, like, you know, vast majority of the players in the game, they still don't have a single mythical, unless they did the Mikake mission, and those are kind of hard, so I think a lot of people didn't even do that, but I think, you know, you're like you're not guaranteed to get the PT pool yet, even if you played very actively and got all of the possible shards, only if you got lucky and got a champion before PT or you bought shards, that's the only way that you can have it at this point. But, you know, we're getting more mythicals or... What do you call them? What, whatever the fragments are called for the primal shards. Oh, primal quartz, that's what they call it. We are getting more primal quartz out of uh, sieges. I don't think it's a lot. But we don't really know how much because the pixel that they showed us, you know, the battles are every twen every two weeks, and in that picture he got 30 fragments, which is like 
less than one third of a shard, but pretty sure those were like the tier one rewards. But let's say that it's the tier six rewards. Is it gonna be the same like on high that you maybe get like what is it like 100, 100 fragments or something like that? But it's not like you're gonna get get thousand fragments and ten shards or anything like that. And it's not a, not a daily thing. It's every two weeks. So if you get like one more primal shard every two weeks or two more per month, that's not a massive increase. Okay, he got both UDK and Ankara. It's kind of, you know, I don't know if he's playing it smart and picking my my champions, but we're still, yeah, we're going to go with the Dutchess and Norses. Maybe we'll have to <laughs> have to go with the Staldos again. I'm using Staldos more and more lately. Okay, this is an interesting team. We got a Fatalist Enjoyer. I, I, guess, I guess he wasn't necessarily picking it just to counter me. I think he's gonna probably pick something like Krotos or Wukong as the last one. But you know, UDK is good. Like, UDK would counter Fatalis as well. Or should I just... Should I just go with Krotos and ban the UDK? That, that is probably what I'm gonna do with here. I think. Rotos and Mikage, or Staldus and... Staldus and Helga, <laughs> that could be kind of funny. He has to pick a new car. Should I do it? I'm kind of tempted. I'm not sure, probably Rotos and Mikage would have been... been the stronger choice, just because those are so powerful champions that... In vacuum, they are better. But let's see what he has as the last pick. If he doesn't have, like... What could be bad? Lazarus... George, like I guess Rotos, and he's probably gonna pick Rotos. Maybe this wasn't. The, I mean, Wukong. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. That I I probably should have just gone with the Rotos and Mika. I was kind of trying to <laughs> trying to troll him a little bit and you know get the Helicat in, which is probably my favorite live arena champions. He's just so so hard countered in this meta. There's half of the meta champions counter him and. I should have known better than to, than to pick him at that moment. I just wanted to play with Heligat, to be honest, that's why I picked him, but I knew that he could he could pick something as the last champion to make the Heligat not that good. To, to be fair, like, you know, Staldos is gonna have strong hits against Wukong and even though the Wukong AoE can oh we went first I, th I think we have to go for this yeah even though the Wukong AoE can hmm I don't know if I should do the A2 yet or not but yeah we're just gonna do it we're gonna rotate it the Wukong AoE is gonna of course steal our buffs, assuming that we don't resist or he doesn't get polymorphed and place block buffs debuffs on us. We're still gonna get the defense buff from Heligat. It kind of works in a weird way that that weird way like that. We are both gonna get the block buff debuff, but we're still gonna get the defense buff from losing the block damage. So it's gonna give us a little bit survivability, but obviously it's gonna mitigate the Damage from Staldus a little bit. Okay, wait. I think... Oh, we don't have defense boost. I don't know if we can kill the Wukong here. Maybe. Okay, we, okay, not even close. Okay. Very good. So far, so good. And if he doesn't get the turn on Wukong, then... Then this battle is gonna be a nightmare for him. I have my Wukong geared super fast for that reason. I could have him in stone skin, but I think he's one of the nukers. Okay, least no wicked. At least one, one non wicked. He's one of the champions with least, like where you least need to have four B stone skin, obviously because of his passive. 
that not only re revives you but with full turn meter. But um, yeah, I could, oh fuck, I could put him in stone skin. I chose to not do it, and I just build him very fast. I think he's the same speed as my Narsus, like 251 speed or something like that. I feel like all three of my main nukers are around the same speed, like 250 something. We, we can check after this battle. Okay, moment of true truth. Now we're gonna take Wukong A2. I don't think he's gonna go for A3. It's gonna hit us hard. Okay, we, we lost it. Yeah, if he didn't proc Helm Smasher there, we certainly would have survived on Duchess and probably Narsus too. But yeah, it, you know, that can happen with Wukong, so... Did, didn't come, come as a surprise. Okay, let's see what... Um... Okay, Rotos is 251. Narsus is 252 and and Wukong is 251 so <laughs> for some reason they're all within one speed of each other not by design and I think Narsus is in speed boards and the other two are, are in attack boards so it's a lot different actually and I kind of want to chaos dust, chaos dust these boots at some point <laughs> You see, only only one rework attempt. We actually got kind of lucky here, and it would be kind of shame to reroll this. But I want to get speed on the Rotos boots. Not gonna do it right now, though. I I want to get those Armand's chest and boots done first. That's gonna take forever. And even after that's done, I need to save a lot of chaos just so that I can most likely get it at one go and not be left with um you know let that defense on the Rotos boots or anything like that. It's kind of, you know, small detail, so I don't want to, you know, rush to it and screw myself, like, for in the meantime, so I'm just gonna wait it out and do it when I can do it properly. But yeah, that, that was close to, if we just could have killed that Wukong before it got the turn again, but you know, probably probably it would have been better to go with Rota, Rotas and Ankara. I'm kind of suspecting that I made a mistake just to get the Heligat in the battle. By the way, speaking of fusion, so I didn't get the mod with the epic from the last event. We, we just were able to finally exchange them because there's like a big cooldown period un until you can do it. Didn't get enough fragments though. I, I mean, I have six more chests that I can open on the next week, but it's not gonna be enough unless I get... I guess it's technically possible if I get insanely lucky, but it's not gonna be enough. And I, I'm doing it again. This might be a giant mistake. We'll find, find out about it eventually, but I'm again farming farming the fusion just for the more, more fragments and they have already promised us that there's gonna be a dog champion that is gonna work retroactively with the abilities of the current dog tamer fusion so we'll see if I record it but the current fusion is not clear, clearly not intended for PvP though it's still possible if they release like insanely powerful dog that is uh, from some kind of guaranteed event and it's good for PvP. It's possible that I could regret this big time, but I'm gonna play the odds, and I really want to get the mod, so I'm just I'm just farming the fragments again. Okay, what here? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the Rotos. But by the way, okay, I'm looking at the Reddit right now and there's a thread about it. Backmaster... <laughs> Backmaster Shuek. I don't know how you guys pronounce his name. 
Tell me that in comments. <laughs> you know, English for me is like weird language because you pronounce same letters differently depending on the word and it's not consistent or hmm, or logical if you ask me. Should we actually go for Harimapan? I'm kind of tempted to do it. And yeah, you know, it, it confuses me often as a foreigner. In my language, all of the letters are always pronounced the same way and you don't really need to guess how to say any word because if you just know the letters, you can say it. But yeah, I have no idea how you would say Backmaster Shuek in English. In Finnish you will say Shuek, but we wouldn't have names like that. Like the letter U or I don't know how you say it in English. Y? Is it Y? U? That's not, we, we have it in our alphabet, but it's not really used anywhere. I mean, it's used, but in very, like, it's not a very common letter. Very rarely. <laughs> One word now that I'm thinking about comes into my mind is the word that I've a couple times used on videos that we, or I guess maybe one time when we were talking about how to say that word, but the word unanimous is, in Finnish, it's called yksimielinen. So the, the first letter in, in that word is the U. Okay, th I think we pretty much won it. <laughs> I mean, I just really want to call out wins too early. Okay, le let's see. But Gizma getting polymorphed at the start is super good for us. Let's put it that way. And we have Life Harvest, don't we? Yeah. They have one champion in Life Harvest. That's going to mitigate the Gizma damage a lot. And uh, assuming that we get any turns from the Sifi Sleep, which might become an issue. Yeah, yeah he has both Sifi Sleep and Mikake Passive. Okay, let, let's calm down and see if we can do it. Protoss is getting protected by Ankora, not not Narsus, so that's why he's not getting slept. He, he might, yeah, he might be a little bit confused about it. I wish my Protoss would have gotten a turn before. Gizma got the turn after Polymorph. I mean, he, he was Polymorph, but he still got a turn before us. Yeah. Okay, that's not, that's not good. <laughs> okay. If we killed him, he would have lost max HP and I feel like it would have been done, but okay, I guess we lost. Yeah. Damn, I, I was getting so hopeful about him getting, you know, Polymorph, but he does have the Mikake passive and Lockout and, you know. And, and a lot of turn meter manipulation with Mikake passive, Sifi turn meter boost and speed buff, Warlord turn meter decrease and Gizmak turn meter decrease. So literally every champion in his team has a uh, turn meter manipulation. Okay. <laughs> Moving on, we're, we're getting on today, but it, it happens. Okay, let's let's take a quick look what's going on on Reddit today.
Maybe I'll pick Wukong as the last champion and not Trotos, but let's first see what he does. Multi battles should be infinite for everyone. I'm sure all of the players agree with this, but Larium is it gonna do it? So you know, we we can't ask for everything. They are not gonna do that stuff on purpose. So I would rather have like instant completion on content like Hydra and so on. <sighs> I. <laughs> The Gizmark is gonna destroy my Rotos voice in um, Stone Skin. Maybe, maybe Wukong, maybe like, you know, maybe UDK is low enough that Wukong can get revived before he dies to the. before UDK dies to the bombs. Maybe we can get a turn that way. If I can get one turn on Wukong, I would of course win this battle, but it's not looking great. By the way, I like this idea. We'll get back to that after this battle. He was saying that make Hydra battles turn 10 turn limit. Obviously that would still favor those Tranda, Tranda mains. But I feel like it would be all the same and people, people would have to use tens of minutes on Hydra instead of like... <laughs> instead of like many hours or 10 plus hours. Damn. Oh, Narsus survived. I, I guess, I guess that should be one and done. Oh, oh no, no, no. God damn, Arbiter survived. It. That's that's not good. Oh, okay, okay, we're we're good. There's no way he can he can survive this one. Let's put it that way. Yeah, they're taking like. 300k damage without attack buff, okay. We, we lost to the Wukong in the last battle and... No, wait, no, second last battle. We lost to the Wukong and now we got the Wukong win. The issue why I'm not using Wukong a lot is because, you know, I'm getting Harima in every battle. And Rotos can still kind of beat Harima in, like, if you can survive long enough, but Wukong can never beat Harima unless it's get, it gets polymorphed, so... It's kind of how the meta has shifted and not only has it made some champions like Helicat worse, but I think that Wukong is also way worse right now than it used to be a while ago. Okay, let's see. I have a radical idea to make Hydra fights and glass way more bearable. Cut the turn limit ten times. Oh, okay. I thought I thought he was he said what, ten turns, but he's saying from fifteen hundred to hundred fifty turns, and it will be a lot faster. I agree. I think something like this would be great. There's no way Plarium will ever do it, but I would totally welcome this. And like I said, I think m most content in the game needs auto completion. Not just like, you know, clan boss, but Hydra bosses, just the normal Hydra rooms. I think most of the stuff in the game should have auto-completion. But yeah, Hydra being so, you know time consuming and you 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 get bored you get bored at running the same teams over and over again for years at some point the only reason people do it is you know to be helpful for their clans and like work together but it's not like super fun to do for anybody i don't think maybe for the first couple times or when you can come up with new teams but it's not fun to use hours to run the same team comp every week for years and years in a row. There's not really, you know, anything like any gameplay about it. You're just doing 
doing your, your mandatory chores. You're not actually really doing anything anything fun, if you ask me at least. Oh, that's actually a question for Latino Marina. Interesting. Oh, and of course, there's not a single, single response because it's Reddit. Not shocked. We're we're gonna we're gonna respond to that after this battle, obviously. Oh my God, this guy has. Oh my God. Um, Harimapan. I feel like we had this ex exact same matchup just now when I lost, but we're gonna go with it. Dude, this guy is free to play and he has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 primal champions and 3 of them are very good. Even the, um, what's the other one called? Not Aphidius, but the other one. That one isn't terrible, but he's definitely not one of the best, but all of them except, except Aphidius are relevant in live arena, so it, it could have been way worse. Obviously... I mean, he had he had like the best nukers, but I would swap one of them for like Galatir or Grixia, and then he would would be all set. But still, those are insane insane pulls for a free to play player. People that have spent a lot on them have like pulled less champions, and his champion quality is also very high. So. I would be shocked if I have that good policy <laughs> from from Prime Mars in like five years. I might not even have that many, but I probably don't have that many. I think he had five muticals, right? Almost certainly, I'm not gonna have <laughs> have five muticals from five years from, from now. <laughs> probably less than that. Uh, unless they make like guaranteed events for muticals or fusions, but we wouldn't count those. Okay, we got the polymorph again. Can we survive the this time to actually do something with it though? Okay, I, th I think we're good. They have a shield up and we have Narcissus and we're not locked out, so I think we're done. Yeah, th th that's why Bolster is barely used anymore, because in these kind of matchups, it's a massive liability to have shield on your team. Oh yeah, the ready thread. Let's let's get back to that. I uh, need to figure out main PvP team to use with my champions. Any help would be appreciated. Um, he doesn't make make it clear. Is he talking about defense team or offense team? Well, okay, I guess we'll talk about both of them. I mean, I guess he he can use the same. Wait. It, oh my god, if this guy is free to play, holy moly, this is like the... He has like, even, like, he has much better luck than even like, Boos or, or Final Ken Batsy, holy moly. Oh my god. I'm not gonna have as good champions as this guy in like, 15 years of playing raid. Like, <laughs> I'm actually getting a little bit <laughs> jealous looking at his champions, like, what the fuck. Um, okay. So, offense team is of course gonna be Armand's Narciss, Mikaki, and Lydia. Hmm. 
Hmm. We got the last pick. Maybe, maybe we can get a sneaky helicat this time. If we really try. I think, yeah, I think we're just gonna go with the Staldos. And... Mm, maybe as the last pick, we, either we go with Ankur or... Maybe we can get the sneaky helicat. Let's see what he picks first. Wait, this my okay. I was testing if my microphone is working, but it's working. It's just I'm kind of surprised that it's not picking picking up me typing on my keyboard. But looks like I finally got the audio audio things properly. I guess I I always have so much issue with the audio and video stuff and the recording and streaming and so on. You know. It is what it is. So he has the Wukong. We can't go with Helicat. If we if we went with something else, but you know, probably he was gonna go with um fuck. Should I go with Lydia? He he I mean he he was gonna go with um Okay, Lydia was a terrible choice. I was kind of running out of options options there. I should have just gone with Necret. That, that that's the best that I could have done there, but um Maybe, maybe Lydia will buy us sometime. Wait, what was I gonna say? Yeah, he, he was gonna pick Rotos or Wukong as the last two. It was pretty much guaranteed. L looking at his team, he already picked UDK and Harima. And both of those work well with those two because they are the biggest counters on them. So obviously he was gonna pick, pick one champion that would have been bad matchup for Helicath, but. Hope lives on and I really wanted to use him. But yeah, the Lydia here was a terrible choice. I kind of ran out of time and didn't really think about it. It's gonna pro... It's gonna... Um, hmm. Oh, wait, the Harima is gonna go before the Ankara. We can go for the stun. Maybe not, because we're also gonna reduce their turn meter. I hope Harima goes first. Okay, he... Oh, never mind. Okay, Ankara is protecting Arima and not Wukong, which is kind of surprising. Usually it's the other way around. It's kind of easy to build Wukong with high crit damage because you don't care about uh, anything else. L so Lydia passive is gonna stop the Wukong passive once, but it's gonna proc again. It's not gonna permanently disable it. Like... Uh, Block passives debuff would. Technically we could do it if we did the A3 and then and then block the passive, but I don't think I guess we should try it, but we're not gonna have enough accuracy to actually do it. Uh I should yeah, I should probably just go for the A2 though. I don't think that's gonna help us, but we could maybe get the get the um speed buff and strengthen to help us. I don't think that's gonna help us survive one more turn though. Yeah. If he got polymorph there, maybe I had a tiny chance to win, but probably not. Okay, we lost this one. Oh, I did get it. So if I were to kill it now. It wouldn't actually, um, it will permanently stay dead, but didn't happen. Yeah, sh should have, should have gone, oh yeah, he picked the anchor. Maybe I should have, I, w I would have needed the mod in this battle. By the way, my mod would have been super good. Then I would have had another reviver and it also would have kind of countered the towns from Harima and the fears from Wukong. That might have actually been super good. Can't wait to get the mod. Let let me show you where we're at with the mod right now. So 85 fragments, still a long way to go. Need 15 more. We got six chests that we can't open yet, but obviously I'm gonna skip this fusion and that should be enough. I'm pretty sure. 
but it's still gonna take me like multiple weeks because um you can't even I can't even exchange the fragments instantly. It took like multiple weeks after the last fusion until you could do it. I guess you can only do it when the next fusion starts. So after this fusion ends, it's probably gonna take me like one or two weeks until I can actually actually finally get the mod, so it's probably gonna still be like a month. But I should get it on summer though. Surely. Okay, so the offense team, you know, is very, very basic. Of course, he was gonna go with that setup, but um, what do we run in defense? I mean, damn, he has, you know, he has insanely good champions for free to play. Not only does he have multiple good primals, but he does have marriage and the white door. So I guess he was smart enough to save voids to to get it which you know many free to plays actually did to be fair but holy moly oh he's going for some kind of speed team mm, i'm hmm i think uh, i should go with mika okay. he's, it's not like he's gonna pick angora Let's go with Mikage and see what he picks. He, it's possible that he might go with Mikage, so let's not give him that option. Okay, what defense should he run? It kind of depends on his gear too, I mean... Could be like White Duo and Maritska. With, you know... With other ones, that would be like, you know, the most basic and simple choice, but I almost feel like he should probably run the Siegfront in the team. I probably would do that myself. I mean, I would of course try try many options every week, that's that's what I always do, but... Um... Okay, Kanisha and Georgie, those are not fun matchups. Mm, yeah, let's go with this. I think this is actually kind of good. For once, we have a reason to use Necret. Um, we're gonna get the immunity on Rotos. And I don't think he can really go for Necret ban with the Armands here. Well, he has a speed team, though. Maybe he can. I think we will actually go for the George ban. I don't know if I'm gonna regret this, though. George ban. Yeah, let's. He has so many speed champions anyway that I feel like it's yeah it's pointless to go for one of them. I, I was I was kind of expecting him to not ban Armands, but I thought that he would he would ban Necret and not um not Mikage. That's why I thought it was pointless to ban like Arbiter or um. Or what's the other one? Lysandra, because he has two of them and almost certainly both of them and like Liumeka as well, all of them are gonna be faster than my Armands. At, at least the Arbiter and Lysandra, you think. I mean, my Armands is like 360 speed, so he's not that fast. Biohack is more than 100 speed faster than me. Oh, instant surrender. After all of that thinking, thinking it was just, just over like that. A little bit anti-climactic. Okay, so maybe that maybe he has multiple defense team options that he should run. One would be Ukraine um, white white duo with Maritska and um, Armands, he could also do that same with Siegfront instead of Armands. 
Then an another option would be to do some kind of part. Maybe, maybe I'll respond to him after the video and I'll <laughs> I'll write him a little bit longer answer. But um, yeah, either one of those two defense on, or then some kind of defense with Harima. It, it depends a lot on his gear too and how fast he is and what kind of gear he has for those different nukers, but. What Harima defense could he do? See if he Harima Maritska and then Maybe maybe Siegfront. Maybe that's maybe that could be a good team. Yeah. I'll I'll let's respond to him after this video, so. I can think about it more and give him a more more detailed answer. Damn, this really works. The, the keyboard used to be very annoying on the video, but now it's not picking it up at all. I'm it's super close. I mean, it's right behind the microphone, but it's positioned positioned better than before I guess and I have better settings on the microphone on the mixer and it doesn't seem to be a problem. If I be Grotos here, he's certainly gonna go with UDK, but I kind of want to go with <laughs> want to go, go with Grotos, and I also don't want to let him have the anchor, so I think we're gonna do this. He already picked two champions, so it's possible that we might be able to just ban the UDK without any issue, but I mean, he could pick like UDK, Harima and Lockout, so that would be pretty rough. Then again, if he goes with UDK, Harima and Lockout, which, yeah, which might be, but he, okay, not quite. I was gonna say that I could, I maybe run Helicat against that, but he already picked Lockout and he has one support pick left. We're definitely not gonna pick Helicat. Mikake and Staltus, maybe. Yeah, I, I think, I think this is what we have to go with. Might even go for their Narcissus ban this time. Yeah, let's go for the Narcissus ban. I don't know if I'm gonna regret this, but let's see what happens. Now, now he only has one nuker, but he does have a double cooldown reset on Ronda, so it's not like Ronda can't, can't kill us here. We do have the Staldus though, it's possible that he might get some weak hits on Staldus, maybe we can do something that way. And then on the other hand, Krixia could weak hit on the Rotos on the start of the battle, and Rotos is in 4 stone skin. He's gonna get one turn, so if he doesn't get locked out at start, that could be another win condition. But let's see. Come on, Rotos, you can do it. I I, I don't think I have really resisted the Grixis at all on this video. Okay. Oh, Angora resisted it, but not Rotos. I would have rather wait. We got we got buff strip anyway, so he's gonna die. Ne never mind. Oh, he got a turn. I would have preferred if. Rodos got got a weak hit, but maybe we can get some extra turns. Okay, no. 
Nope, not nothing for us today. Just let me have like one, one super lucky battle where I dominate the enemy with extra turns from Rotos and so on. It could happen, it has happened, but not today. Yeah, it's not not looking super good. I'm just gonna get slept on the wait, it, okay, never mind. He can't do that. Okay, it's not that bad. Oh, but but I'm locked out and I don't have enough damage to kill the Ronda with the A1. And even if I get the revive on Rotos right now, I don't know if I even go before the Oh wait. Okay. Uh it's not good enough. He has all of the buffs protected anyway, but maybe if I red wait. Can I even reduce her turn meter? She got her cooldowns resets. I don't. Yeah, I can't even reduce her turn meter, but I can't remove any of the buffs anyway because CV got kind of lucky with the protection. But yeah, her passive protects her. If she had her turn meter reduced, her maybe I could have. A, maybe Rodos could have got in and gotten a turn before it, but now most certainly it's not gonna get the turn. Let's. Let's go for the A2 instead and see what happens, but most certainly we lost it. But if I re revive Rotos Terra, he would just die before before he gets done anyway. Yeah, two two cooldown resets and CV third meter boost is kind of kind of funny. He has endless endless cooldowns in this battle, and we still haven't gotten to use our abilities once in the in the battle. And of course, we'll not be able to do it. And CV revise with turn meter, and yeah, we're done. Even if Ronda gets multiple weekies in a row now, I think we're still gonna get locked out again before we would have another chance to um, move on Stalos. Oh fuck. I think I just ran out of... Uh, I run out of battery on my camera. This happened on the last stream, so... Okay, I guess I have to turn it down, my bad guys. So, um... Yeah. I was streaming on 2K before, and I did... I did 4K streaming on the... Like... Th there was some issue that I couldn't get 4K working. It looked horrible, it was like... Lagging, like them. Graphic were getting super blurry. I still don't know exactly what it costs, but there's some kind of, you know, issue with the settings, and I got it fixed. Like, I, I don't think it should have caused the blurriness, but it did. I got that fixed, but then I didn't realize that taking video or streaming on 4K takes, like, many, many, many times more battery than doing it on 2K. I did, like, you know, 8-hour streams before, and didn't run out of the battery on the camera. Of course, it's kind of new, new, so I'm not, you know, super well versed on it and haven't had those before. But um, it's obviously like recharging at the same time right now. And if I stream on 2K, it's never gonna run out of battery, even while I'm like I'm still recharging at the same time. But if I do in 4K, you know, it ran out surprisingly fast now. L last time it ran out when I was doing a stream, but it was like 3 plus hours, but now we're not even 1 hour in the video and it, it ran out, 
And it definitely was full battery. I did already order like a dummy battery from from AliExpress, but it's gonna take a while for it to arrive. So next time I make a stream or live arena video, I need to go back to 2K for one one video. I don't think it really matters, but if I can do 4K, I might as well do it. But I guess it was a bad decision this time. Okay, let me double check, but if I... I'm pretty sure it's out of battery now. Wait, it doesn't seem like that happened this time. It still has some... Um, some battery. I think it may have overheated, but I did put the option to... Um, for it to not turn down even if it overheats a little bit. And I... Yeah, I could just put it back. Okay. I'll have to look into that. I'm... Pretty sure, like... It didn't give me any message, but I think the only reason for it to shut down w other than running out of battery would have been overheating. Oh fuck. Yeah, we're getting a little bit distracted here and this is kind of hard team. <laughs> oh fuck, he didn't ban the Armands. Uh, I should have banned Crixia. I didn't see this happening. If I if I banned the Crixia here, I would have won. I totally thought he would ban the Armands though, but I well, there's a possibility that my Armands could be faster than his Crixia, but I doubt it. But maybe it is. Oh yeah, he has Shuchan, so of course it's gonna be, <laughs> of course it's gonna be faster than my Armands. But he could he could weak hit on Armands. That's a possibility. If he does that, we might be good. Come on, just give me a wicked. Let me have one Iron G win. Oh, we did get it. Oh my god. Nice, nice. I think we're good then. Unless we get our own wicked or something bad like that. Uh, what should we do? Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll just play it safe. I mean... Uh, High risk, high reward option would be to just polymorph the Angora, but let's polymorph the Narsus so that we don't get any reaction procs and for sure we're gonna end his team. But I, I think we won this battle. Oh fuck. By the way, if anyone is super well versed in the camera stuff or knows about that, if you know something that I should do, then hit me up in DMs. There's an option in the settings that it says something like don't turn off even if you even on like low level overheating or whatever it's called. I looked into it and it's you know super safe that even if you check that option, it doesn't cause any issues. And it just it's just set automatically to turn way before it needs to. But I'm pretty sure it's just overheated right now, and I do have that setting chosen, so it shouldn't turn off that easily. And to be fair, it's not... I can still see the camera is kind of hot. I don't really know how hot it can be. It's a lot less hot than PC parts can get. It's a little bit hot, but maybe it did turn off for some other reason. I'm not exactly sure what happened. I thought for sure first it was battery, but it wasn't depleted yet, then I thought it was overheating, but now I'm not even sure 
if it was that or what was it. I thought that it would shut down in a sec if I if I turn it um turn it back because of this. Okay, maybe we're playing it too safely, but we're we're really we're really taking our time on this team. Okay, we we got it. Even if he gets a nook now, our um, UDK is going to be able to take multiple Narsus hits and Wuga would finish it at some point. Yeah, any any video, audio, streaming experts hit me up. I'm always trying to improve that aspect. Not like it's the biggest deal, but I'm, I always have these small issues. I, I, I'll have to do some intense googling after this battle if there's any other good reasons why the camera might shut down. But yeah, I do have one of those dummy batteries on the way that would recharge it faster, that it wouldn't run out of Jewish even on like a long stream, so. But that that wasn't it. It, it still, I mean, it wasn't full battery, but I think it had 40, 46 percent, so. I don't know, I don't know who to pick. Let, let's see what he does and... He didn't go for like early... Early Anchor or Narthus. I don't know if he has them or uses them, so let's see what he does. Oh, he, he does. Um, okay, we're just gonna go with Wukong and Rodos and ban the Harima. I hope he doesn't have a lockout, but... Wait, no, I'm I'm gonna go for Narsus ban anyway. We need to kill the Harima or get the Polymorph on it, but we can win that way. But okay, I should have picked probably Narsus instead of... Ah, uh, fuck. Instead of UDK. Well, we can totally win this. It feels like we're the underdog again, but it's again the polymorph in condition. Marius could, could get polymorphed. I mean, everybody on his team basically could, so. And to be fair, if Wukong doesn't have an enfeebled debuff, and Arima is polymorphed or dead. It, it only takes us one A2 on Wukong and we could end his team. Come on, polymorph, polymorph. Yes. Uh, do I have enough damage to kill the Sifi? It has a very thick shield and defense buff. Maybe we'll just play it safe and go for the Mario skill and A2. It's very likely that I could have killed the city with A3, but we took the safer option. Oh, I wish my I hope my Wukong goes first. Please go first. I don't know if he's gonna go first. At least we have immunity, but if he dies now it would be bad. Oh, we yeah, okay, we survived. I think it's game over. I mean... Ankara might survive with weak hit, but we're definitely gonna kill everybody else. We even have attack buff, so we might do some serious damage. Yeah, 366k damage on on Sifi. That's pretty bonkers, actually. Oh, 
Ah, uh, almost. You know, the attack buff makes a big difference. Often I'm running Wukong and Rotos without attack buff, attack buff, and you realize how how big deal it is actually, even on Rotos. We we still have immunity, so it's not like Marius is gonna mess us up here. Oh, okay. Now now we don't have it though. Ah, another. Another one. I think I think that's it. With those with those polymorphs we're good. Maybe this was the one lucky battle that I I was asking for. Nice. Some pity win is at the end of the video to make me feel better for the next time. Thank you, Parium. But yeah, it's, it's kind of funny because, you know, I was complaining about the fact that they were dribbling the information about the clan wars or siege. I really want to call it clan wars and not siege, but Barium is forcing my hand. Um, it took like multiple weeks for us to actually get the full information. Now we kind of know, but we haven't really experienced it. But it's still gonna take us two weeks before we get the actual clan wars. So. It's still gonna take some time before we properly know, and I feel like it's not a good thing because I think that in in the one month of time or even more than one month, the hype is kind of gonna die die down a little bit. Then, yeah, I'm not sure if this game mode was the big thing that um, Larium was intending for it to be. Maybe well, maybe they were not intending it to be a big deal in the first place, but I think as arena enjoyers, and I'm not just talking about my own clan, but other people too, I think people were expecting a lot from this game mode and have been waiting it for years and it's gonna be kind of disappointing if it turns out to be bad. I'm trying to be positive, but I see most other people not caring about it. And I think the people that I talk with are much more in the PvP than most people, so if they are very negative about this, I think it's probably gonna be a massive fail, but I'll reserve the judgement for later. Maybe it can still be super good, who knows. At least it seems like the clan hoping thing is actually still on the table, so that probably is something that our clan might still do, just for the sake of mostly Hydra class to get the max rewards in there. We're gonna have a super strong clan actually, but I really don't want to mandate any Hydra. Hydra, um... Do we want to go with this? Yeah, I don't want to man mandate any Hydra. Like, damage levels, point outputs, however you want to put it. And I really want, don't want to do them myself either, so... Actually, I was talking with Biohack, in, in case you didn't know, like, Biohack joined the clan, I wasn't really, you know, um, advertising it on videos, because, you know, I didn't want to make a big deal about it. But Biohack joined the clan, which kind of makes sense, and I'm glad that he did. Uh, and he, he definitely had the same kind of uh, mentality as me, that he's super into PvP, and he wants to try to get the max rewards from CVC and Hydra class. But he doesn't, he wants to get the maximum rewards with the minimum 
effort. He doesn't really want for everybody to do their max keys every week and hopes that we can we can finesse it and not actually go that route. Um, I think we have to open with A2, uh, uh, A3, I mean. Oh, nice, we got both stone skin removed. Okay. Not, not sure if it really matters since um, we're locked out on Narcissus, though. Okay. Never mind, I was getting hyped over nothing. Yeah, we will. I can already surrender. We lost this one. But yeah, so for the sake of clan wars, we kind of want to be on the max tier. That's going to be one thing. We want to be on the max tier there. We'll see how it works out in the practice. But even if if we can just like uh, jump down from the lowest tier to the maximum tier from like in like one land wars battle, it might be the road that we do that. Sometimes we're just gonna su switch the clan, reset the Hydra, and we'll get easy enemies, and then we will have like one one siege where we are at the low tier, and then we'll go back up. But we'll see about that. It would be kind of fun to say, stay in the same clan and compete at the high level in the siege, but also I really don't want us to like get destroyed on Hydra. Then again, Plarium did say that they're planning to rebalance the Hydra rewards. I don't really have high hopes for that anyway, or not anyway, either way, but maybe they will do it better than we think, you, you never know. But surely, surely the top three and like the four and five, surely they are not gonna get as good rewards as the top three. I feel like everybody should get the same stone skin rewards if they do the minimum damage thresholds to do it. I wish it wasn't tight to win, but CVC is and clearly sieges are as well, so it makes sense. Okay, he went with the Rotos and UDK. I don't know if we want to go with Wukong or um, Staldus here. I think I might have my Uko, Uko still geared, I think I could technically use him. Almost could go with Uko, he, he has double magic affinity in Uko. Should I do it? W what other support would even be relevant here? And I would get the attack debuffs on them. Okay, let's go with it. I'm not 100% sure if I even have gear on him, but if he does, it's uh, like semi-fast sunset, which is the normal Ukko build. Not sure if, if that's gonna be good enough though. We're getting locked out and everything. But we could get weak hits from his new girls and we could get the attack debuff, which is kind of okay. And we would have oh I don't think he's geared. He's super Yeah, okay, he's not geared. He might have some gear on, but he's not fully geared. He's super low HP and uh, he's lower than Staldo, so he's definitely not geared. Maybe he, maybe he would have 4B stones, stone skin without 2B's perception, but probably he doesn't have any set. Yeah, that, that sucks. <laughs> I haven't really been using Ukko a lot. I don't recall when I removed his gear or why, but I thought there was a high likelihood that I had done it. Okay, we, we already lost. Let's go see. Let's go see what set Ukko had. Maybe maybe if he had his set, maybe 
Maybe if he went first and opened with... Um, well, it, it wouldn't have been faster than Crixia anyway. He would have been locked out and he wouldn't have been able to bust strip the stone skin and stun them. Oh, okay. This is the gear that he had on. Wait, so who has his items? At? Oh, okay. Some random Girl City champion has his items. At. And why is that with like a terrible... Um, Surely I have another set here. Oh, okay. Cardiel has like a couple of his pieces. I think I... Oh, it ended. I think I took some Cardiel pieces for... I want to say Fire Knight for Mario's missions. Something like that. that that's, I guess, why he was not geared. Anyway, not not the best session, but you know, at least we didn't lose points. I don't I don't think we barely gained. I think we gained like four points, so we probably had 50% win ratio or something like that. Definitely not not on the highly positive side. Yeah, I, I I don't think I have anything else to say. We'll see about the siege bars. I really hope it will be better than people think, but um, we'll see about that. I hope you guys have fun with this content and it turns out to be better than it is. But yeah, that's it for this video. Enjoy your weekend and see ya.